Creating a drop-down menu is easy to do in the page builder with actions and events. In this guide, you'll create one menu panel and two menu buttons, one inactive and one active, that will switch the menu from hidden to visible on mouse click. Please note this tutorial is for a drop-down menu that is click-based. Creating mouse leave enter based drop-down menus is not currently advised. First, create two buttons, one inactive, the one that will be shown on page load, and one active, which is the one that will be shown when your menu is clicked. So, in the page builder, create a menu button using text or image elements. This will be your inactive menu button. With your inactive menu button selected, go to Element Properties and then General Properties. Enter a name for it, like Button 1 Inactive. Then make sure its visibility settings are set to Start Visible Selected Element Only. Next, clone your menu button and change the name to something like Button 1 Active. This is the button that will show when your menu is active, so you might want to change its colour or add a shadow. For now, place it next to your inactive button and set it to Start Hidden, Selected Element Only. Now create your menu panel, which will contain the options. Add a panel element from the elements tray. Resize and move it directly underneath your inactive menu button. You can add text links, and make sure they're contained within the panel. With your menu panel selected, change its name using the properties panel, like menu 1. Change its visibility settings to start hidden including contents. Next, adding actions to each of the buttons makes it possible to show and hide the menu on click. With the inactive button selected, go to element properties, actions and events, click add new action and configure the action as follows. Event type, on click, action, show, and target, button 1 active. Then click done. Again, click add new action, and configure this action as follows. Event type, on click, action, show target, target, menu 1 and switch on Include Contained Elements. Click Done. Click to add a final new action and configure the action as follows. Event type, on click, action, hide, target, button one, inactive. Then click Done. That's your inactive button all set up. Next, select your active button. With your active button selected, go to Element Properties, Actions and Event, and click New Action. Configure the action as follows. Event Type, on click. Action, Hide. Target, Menu 1. 
and make sure you switch on include contained elements. Click done and click to add a second action. Event type on click. Action hide. Target button one active and switch on include contained elements. Click done and click to add the final new action. Configure the action as follows, event type on click, action show, target button one inactive. Click done and you're nearly finished. These steps are necessary to configure the buttons to show and hide on the relevant clicks. Finally, move the active button element directly on top of the inactive button element. Click Save, and then Preview. If everything works as it should, you'll be able to click your inactive button element, which will trigger actions to both hide the inactive button, show the active button, and show the menu. Clicking the active button should hide the menu, and hide the active button element again showing the inactive button.